As a parent, I would hate to see my kid participate in, in a video that way. Our top story tonight, more than a dozen videos of Midland teenagers fighting at school have surfaced on a popular social media website that your child may be using. Two Instagram pages highlighting recorded fights at Midland Junior High Schools have many parents warning their children and wondering why teachers are absent from the videos. CBS 7's Lauren Lamon spoke with school district officials this afternoon. Lauren, what did they have to say about it? Before our calls to the school district officials say they hadn't known about the Instagram page, now they say after looking over the page they have addressed each fight and students have been disciplined. As for the parents, they say more still needs to be done. That's here? Yeah. What do you think whenever you see that kind of thing? Where are the teachers? It's rather surprising. I would assume that they'd have somebody. I, I thought there was always teachers kind of walking around patrolling the area. <laughs> Fight after fight after fight. More than a dozen videos of Midland Junior High students from Alamo Junior High and Abel Junior High have been posted on Instagram for the world to see. I wouldn't ever want to have my daughter put in a situation like that. It really does. It's literally making my heart race. Midland mother Alejandra Soto came across the videos earlier this week. The images she saw were shocking. I was really disturbed to see, you know, the amount of, you know, just how many fights are recorded and that are on there and that they're on campus. The videos show students crowding around, generally cheering on the scuffle before quickly separating or having someone else break it up. I don't know if they're doing this as a hobby to get likes. I don't know what that's going to give them. Midland ISD leaders say the actions in the videos could get the students suspended, a ticket from cops and placed into an alternative setting, whether the student is in front of the camera or behind it. Regardless, parents and administrators alike are ready to see it stop before something serious comes out of this new fad. That's bullying, I think, and they don't realize that they're going to get themselves into trouble. The school district says they are treating all of these cases like any other mutual combat case, which basically means that both parties agreed to fight. The district does ask for both parents and students to let the district know when something like this is happening so they can go forward with the proper disciplinary action. In the studio, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News.